Let's set up employee leave to easily track time off and ensure accurate leave management. From the employee's profile, click on the leave tab. Before an employee can request leave, you must first assign the leave type here. For full-time and part-time employees, Xero provides a single button that instantly applies all default leave types. Just click Assign Default Leave Types and you're all set. Once they've been applied, this button will disappear. If you need to add another leave type, for example, unpaid leave, click Assign Leave Type. Then select the leave type from the dropdown. Next, you'll choose the calculation method. Xero offers a few different ways to calculate leave, so pick the one that best suits your business and employee agreements. Let's quickly run through the available calculation methods. Fixed amount each period. This is a simple option where you tell Xero a set number of hours the employee is entitled to each year. The employee will then be allocated this amount of leave over the next year of pay runs. For example, if you enter 120 hours and you pay them monthly, they'll accrue 10 hours per pay run. Manually recorded rate. This option gives you full control. Just enter the number of leave hours your employee accrues each time you do a pay run. This is perfect for less straightforward leave agreements. No calculation required. This is for situations where leave doesn't automatically accrue. You can still manually add an amount in the pay run if needed based on ordinary earnings. This is a handy option for employees with variable hours, like part-time employees. Just enter the annual leave hours for a full-time employee, and Xero will automatically calculate the accrual based on the hours they actually worked. If you're adding an existing employee to Xero payroll, they might already have a leave balance from a previous system. Enter that amount here in the opening balance section to ensure everything is up to date in Xero. Finally, you can select if you want this leave type to be paid out when the employee is terminated. Click Save to finish. If you want to edit or review the leave settings, just click on the leave balance. And remember, if you make any changes, be sure to click Save.